All right, so today I'm going to show you how to make your virtual portfolio. We are going to be doing it as a Google website. This may be broken up into multiple parts, so you may need to jump around to figure out exactly what you need. So the very first thing we're going to do, and you might do this in a different order, we are going to save our artwork. So I have taken photos and I've put them into presentations throughout the school year. And those presentations should be shared with you through Google Classroom, or you might be able to find them in your email if it sent you a notification. You would find your name. They're usually separated by grade level. Um, there's all of them, right? There's tons of them in here. And we need to save or download this photo. So you'll find the one. It's got this outline. We don't just want to screenshot it. That would work if you really couldn't figure out another way. But that's such a low quality photo, and we don't really want to do that. So we are going to be selected on our page. We're going to go to File, Download, JPEG Image Current Slide. OK, so JPEG Image Current Slide. And when you click that, it's going to download it. I'm on a Mac, so yours might not look the same as what mine just did. But it is, it's going to pop up in your downloads folder on your Chromebooks. So I'm going to put mine on my desktop so I know where it is. Again, I'm on Mac, so it may be a little different. So you might want to download all of your photos of your art right away so you don't have to worry about it later. Or you might want to just do it as you go. But that is how you download artwork. Now we're going to start making our actual website. So when you open a new tab on Google, we're going to go up here to our little dots. And it gives you this drop down menu. Normally you'd go to like your email or to Google Drive or Google Docs. We are gonna go to Google Sites. And when we open a Google site, it's gonna look like this. You might not have stuff down here. That's because we're going to make our website. So we are just going to use a blank site. So I'm gonna click plus on blank site. And it's going to load up to look like this. The very first thing I'm going to do where it says untitled site, you're going to go up here and you're going to name it your first and last name, portfolio. Then our page title. Here you can put welcome to your gallery. You could put your name. Um, whatever you want to title, this is your home page. So this is where people will load into your website when they have your the original link. This is the main page. Now from here, this is just a blank slate for us. We are going to go in, we can change the font. Um, there's tons of different fonts here. You pick which one you like. Make sure that it's, think about the people looking at it. Make sure that it's readable. Ooh, my computer's a little slow today. Okay, doesn't want me to pick a font. That's fine. Um, but you can change it up. Change it to what, change stuff to whatever you want, even though mine won't let me right now. Um, also, we can change this background header image. So you can do a photo of your artwork and it'll kind of be really zoomed in and kind of close up. But if you have like a really colorful artwork, it might be nice. Or you can go online, you can find a pattern or something to add there. Remember that it this is something you're turning in. It's also something that you would want to be able to share, like to show your artwork. So it should be somewhat professional. It can be fun, but it shouldn't be like silly. Um, obviously it shouldn't be inappropriate, anything like that. So, um, you know, Keep it professional. This is a website that represents you. Um, so to change it, oops. Hmm. Yeah, mine just doesn't want to load here today. Um, but to change that background image, you would go to image, upload, and then if my computer ever loads, you would find your image. So I'm just going to pick the Art and Science Academy logo, okay, just because that's what I had. Now, this text doesn't read very well, right? See how that kind of blends in with the background or it kind of it's kind of hard to read. There is other stuff you can do. So right here, you can try changing this little it says adjust for readability. It just changes it. That didn't really 
help a whole lot. So, you know, maybe I would go in. Now I can change my font, right? I can change the size, make it really large, you know, underline, okay? You can do lots of things. So if you haven't done this yet, I would pause it and I would go do this. Now, you are gonna be working on this website throughout the rest of the school year as you have free time. It is due by May 31st. So you'll be, I'll be grading them after May 31st or you know, if you're watching this in the future, you'll get the due date from me. Um, you will click publish and your web address, you are just going to leave this, okay? You're not going to change that. So this is going to be what my link is going to be after I publish this. This is where people will go. So who can view my site? We are going to click manage. Okay. Here it'll say you, you're the owner. And then where it says published or where it says draft, that can stay Art and Science Academy. Published site, you are going to change to public. This is so that you can share it with people outside the school. So like if you want to share it with your parents and they don't have an ASA email, you'd be able to share it with them. So published sites, public. Then you'll click done. Then you can copy this link. I'm selecting it, edit, copy. Whoops, you need all of it. Edit, copy. This is what you are going to submit to me on Google Classroom. This is the link that I will need in order to Grade it. Then you'll click publish. Okay. At this point, I would go to Google Classroom and send that to Miss Stuckey so that I can see it as you're working on it if need be. And I can give you feedback and I can help you with things. I'm going to give you just a real quick rundown of the other things that are on this platform. Um, I will have other videos showing you exactly how to do each page. So we have our welcome. Then right here, these buttons are to add things. Really, the only ones that you are going to use will be text box and images out of these four. You won't really upload things from Drive. Um, maybe if you have like a video that you wanna upload, we might do that, but it's text box and images, okay? When I click text box, it adds literally a text box. I can delete my text box by having it selected and clicking the garbage can. When I click images, it'll ask me the same thing as when I did my background, if I wanna upload a photo or select a photo. When you do these, so like, I'm going to select one. Um, here, we'll pick this one. It's going to load it in. It does take a minute because it's got to actually upload it to the site. You can click and drag. It gives you these little grid lines. If I were like it, I have to keep it kind of within those grid lines. There's this dotted line here. That's the separation of a section. So. Um, if I want to add another section, I can add a text box, and now I have two sections. Um, from there, you can also use these content blocks where you can load in a photo and text automatically. Um, it gives you some formatting. There's a bunch of other stuff, but you probably won't use any of these. You can play around with it if you want just to see, but really we're going to be using text boxes, images, and content blocks. 
There are also pages. So right now we're building our homepage. You have to have several pages for your website. Look at the checklist for that. You can build these pages separate too. And then there are themes. So if you want to play around with building themes, you can. Um, these are things that will change like the look of it. So if I didn't want to go in and change every page, I could select like this theme and it changes some of the colors. It changes some of the fonts. It changes some of the overall stuff. Maybe I like that and try some different colors. Okay, so themes you can play around with. All right, I will see you in another video to keep working.